first time I came back from Vietnam, I came back the night that Robert Kennedy was killed. The first voices I heard of America again were the voices from the Ambassador Hotel, listening to his speech and then listening to the shots and spending the next three days sitting in front of a little black and white television as the funeral played out and as the saga of America's confrontation with violence in the 1960s played out. 1968 was an extraordinary year. I'd often thought of writing a book just about 1968, but I've encompassed everything in this. It's compressed, obviously, in that regard, but comprehensive. And I think what, what I realized was we were not being told the truth. This is part of the continuum of this book, which is we're not being told the truth today about a lot of things. And the truth is, is at the heart of our democracy. It's the heart of who we are as Americans. And it is absolutely critical for people to understand that. I began to understand it when I got to Vietnam, when I saw the things that were happening that were so different from what we were told, the purpose of the war, the willingness of the Vietnamese to fight, all these kinds of things. And ultimately, uh, it wasn't until I read Neil Sheehan's bright shining lie years later that I recognized how early those lies actually began and how deep they ran. So I felt compelled to tell the truth. Uh, I thought that, that it was critical that my friends don't die for lies and for bad policy, for leadership that forgot what it was supposed to do to lead.